What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, the army of, an, of Augustin de Mercado is attacking the city of Valletta. So it looks like it's pretty bog standard force. Protecting the city, a couple of regiments of horse, a couple of artillery batteries, but nothing that will hold up our forces. So let's attack the city and I think this is probably the last um, territory in the Mediterranean we actually have to hold. Then Mr. Demacado can replenish and be sent to the Indian front, potentially, to open up a new front line. That could be what my remaining forces in Europe actually do. Maybe attack somewhere down the west coast, start to open up some toeholds, capture cities with fortifications and hold, just to try and draw the enemy away from... Uh, our main advance. So let's set up our artillery batteries to, to, to create a breach. How else is it going to drop in some shots? So I'm going to try experiment with actually making my flanking element make them a bit smaller. I want to try have a bit more of a um, a more major assault on the actual breach itself. So it does mean I'll need my grenadiers to go in the front door. So we can have four units that can either support the breach and attack the wall on the right flank, four units that can attack this bastion and this section of the wall here. General in the centre. Oh, how it says quick line in the centre. Although there's not quite as many cavalrymen. Oh, shots coming in. <laughs> We're making our breach. The enemy has a lot of infantry. Really, I suppose I should be trying to target the mortars with my howitzers. Yeah, these four, their job is to attack this corner to present a new threat axis. These men are going to attack this section of the wall here. Maybe put one unit up here to cross the gate. Just a second, guys, that is the doorbell. And I'm back. Delivery for next door. So, we're going to carry on doing what we're doing. Let's speed up time a little bit because we're just making. Holes in walls and firing off quicklime. I might let these chaps fire off one more volley of quicklime, but then he'll fire short anyway. Switch them to round shot. Attack the cavalry. Try gain a bit of experience for them. Uh, but again, probably just going to just. Uh, Speed up time a bit, because all we're doing is just blowing holes in walls and dropping artillery onto people. So in this force we do have a cavalry contingent, but they will... Actually, are you guys actually attacking? Okay, now they are. Good stuff. We're about, to make a We're about to make a breach. I probably want to take my cavalry and slowly bring them over to support the push on the flank because when we start to advance, uh, there's going to be a lot of artillery flying. And it looks like they have kind of abandoned this area, not massively. Yeah, they are, they are expanding their positions near the breach we might have to get some artillery fire dropping on them soon I might want to get one howitzer to keep attacking field artillery regiment and one unit I mean come on that's asking for some quick lime goodness there's a whole bunch of units combined in one place there this quick lime gets them through the wall that's a good hit Really good hit. So once our guns 
open up this breach, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to pivot my foot artillery to start to maybe attack the other wall. Try and open up a second breach. Fundamentally, I think, well, we will be okay. Boom. Some good collapses there. Do you guys have an angle? Hmm. Hold on just a second, I'm going to sneeze. Pardon me. Um, okay, so get my photo to keep uh, pounding the breach. My howitzers can start to attack some of these troops holding holding the uh, the walls on the right flank because we want to start the general advance. These guys can start by running. Because I'm kind of hoping we can. Okay, let's make sure my one unit's attacking the fourth, one howitzer is attacking the second. So my gunners are dropping shots into the breach. It's causing a bit of damage there. I'm kind of hoping we can engulf the. Engulf the, uh, the fort before the howitzers have a chance to do too much damage at any one particular flank. Yeah, mortars are firing, so let's start my chaps running. Get two regiments to try and scale the bastion. These two regiments aren't going to be enough to attack these chaps until they've been thinned out somewhat. So let's try and get two units up on the walls already. The 12th regiment, try to secure that wall with cavalry support. And this unit, you try and secure, climb up this bastion and try and secure this gate. My um, grenadiers do want to get in there, but I want to do it with a bit of... where well, there's some support. Let's try and get some men to scale the left flank of this breach. These guys don't have bayonets, so they will do some damage. But if we can thin out a couple of these units, or at the very least have more of my men in position up here to cross over the bridge, then we can start the attack. And my grenadiers can... well, the, the grenadiers will attack when the time is right. I suspect my howitzers need to switch to round shot, attack the howitzers and then let's get my men to charge forward towards the wall. These guys are going to quickly get up to the bre top of the breach in numbers. It looks like they're not completely... Ooh, they're coming out! Go on you men. Limber up. There's guns. There's, there's men to kill right there. The 157th and the 138th are going to advance. They're starting to push out of the breaches towards us, which is great news. You men cross over and secure the gate quickly. By the time they get there, these men won't have captured the gates yet. So let's let these two units just combine. Let them consolidate their position above the gate. Give these units orders 
to cross the bridge as soon as they climb up because they've started to engage my men outside the gate but it looks like they have been very foolish and they're trying to sally out but there we go my men are up on the wall here and they're going to have orders to attack and destroy the 6th regiment of infantry oh it's starting to chug that's why I don't want to attack the breach yet Okay, the you men cross the bridge and attack the 1st Regiment of Foot, so there's going to be some fisticuffs there. Foot artillery cease fire. So this is going to be contributing to the chug. I can get my cavalry you know they can wait outside when these when these men have finished taking position on the wall they'll open up on the second regiment with gunfire I was kind of hoping my men on the gate here wouldn't get so caught up from um, wouldn't get so stranded it looks like there's yeah, this, this could be part of the problem with pathfinding in cities, is that I want them to get up here and cross the bridge, but they've decided that they want to try and take lots of different pathways to get there. My attack on the wall is going rather well. The 4th Regiment are going down. So when these guys are up... They'll gun down the second. Same with these guys. These men have secured this gatehouse. I could charge my cavalry in, but I'm going to leave them out there for now. Not at the, the gate, the 3rd Regiment of Militia is... The Grenadiers, for whatever reason, everyone's trying to shoot at people up on the walls. Okay, get one of these units just to... They don't need to fight on the wall anymore. This unit's going to be the one to engage the last remaining seven men. It's another unit. There we go. That's the musket fire I was looking for. So you men can try and get off the wall. To be honest, so can you guys, because the remaining chaps can just run through the breach. They can just run through the gate, because it's now ours. My cavalry can get through. These guys will take position and clear out the 3rd Regiment of Horse. Okay, these units of line infantry are still battling for control of the gate. They will not be advancing down into the breach because we're getting to a point where my grenadiers are enough for that. So send in one regiment to attack the firelock armed citizenry. He does not. They do not seem to want to. There we go, we are securing the fire step inside the fort. One of my units abandon the wall and begin to advance down. Like you guys are. My cavalry, it's not doing it. It's not doing anything because I didn't tell it to. Can attack the 3rd Regiment. You men get down here. These men attack the 2nd Regiment. Curacier Guard are attacking the line infantry. You men get down here. Well, you men get down and just form a, a gun line looking at the men defending the breach. Then up, on, up 
here. There we go. It looks like we've secured this gate. A couple of these guys are stuck down here by the looks of it, but that's okay. The 151st can attack the 2nd Regiment. There we go. In go the Grenadiers. But they are all in quite bad shape. You men attack the remaining howitzer men. This combat over here is proceeding as planned. Hundred twenty fourth, we're going to attack the field artillery. You men don't even need to hold back anymore, you can just charge. Keep knocking them out. Because there is still the first regiment of horse that's holding out. Get more men in. Yeah, leave the third regiment. They're currently just sat there, chilling out by the walls. The men here, they're not in a good way. First regiment of horse have abandoned the centre, so my cuirassier are going to chase them down. You men pivot to face off against the Firelock Arm citizenry attempting to <laughs> make a comeback. So the 122nd, I, wonder, I don't know if you are reloaded. You are. Oh, I've volleyed the Firelock Arm citizenry, but we shall cease fire. More militia coming back, so let's send you guys up to block the militia. You men hold the square. And these men are holding on. Garrison line, garrison line. Line infantry. My 20th Grenadier Regiment's going to have their way with them. Charge that unit in as well, because they're currently not, not doing anything. Yeah, you men fire it well on. Because you'll at least be able to do some damage to the 1st Regiment. So you men... Yeah, there we go. The head of the militia column is being engaged by musket fire as they try and defend the fort. Yeah, see the cavalry have charged in the back of one of my units, but it's only 11 men of the Regiment of Horse that cease fire on my howitzer. Trot my cavalry up. There you go, you men form up. That regiment of horse was the general. And all of the men in the breach have routed. Excellent. So that is Valletta secured, and that is the Mediterranean actually secured now. So in theory we could disband all of our naval units currently protecting ports and so on but I don't think I'm not going to really do that just in case uh, so do, 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 somewhere yeah there we go I've got some howitzer units that are looking after I don't know why in this campaign in particular sometimes they just lose their orders now you're coming over here to defend Munich because you've got some rebels coming in whole lot of stuff I can upgrade. You, well, you will be going to India. That's where you're going to be going. No, not army recruitment. Recruit brig to get you over there. We've only got Copenhagen and we've got an army here ready to land 
Uh, the Reykjavik to deal with them. Lots of troops heading over towards Spain. You're okay, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a new force that's getting a lot of stuff recruited, but one thing we can do is push Mr. Roig up against the garrison at Archangels, because I doubt they will surrender. No, there we go. Lots of line infantry, a couple of units of dragoons, and a Moskovsky regiment of dragoons. They will fall under the boots of our field marshal. But then Russia only has a handful of territories remaining, and then once Russia is destroyed, we can realign some of my armies um, over towards India, and then we can declare... Well, we actually might send some of them over to the Americas, because we do have... We will have to declare war on New Spain. Uh, good hill back here for my gunners. We are going to be on the offensive. So let's put my... Fusiliers... Somewhat in the centre. That I can back them up on the flanks with some beefier infantry and grenadier mixed formations. Bulk of my cavalry on the left, because that's where the open ground is. My field marshal is ready. Anchor ourselves against the houses. Push my granite, my cuirassier up to engage their dragoons. Not going to worry about efficiently setting my lines up yet. All of my artillery is engaging their mortars. Which, oh, that's a lot of troops in one hit. Yeah, they're already coming in. No, nope, there we go. My cuirassier are going to get to them first. So you guys drop into squares, just in case. Let's see a firelock armed citizenry. My regiment of horse can probably deal with them. These dragoons are wavering. Don't make me get my other infantry involved in these shenanigans, because I'll make them. How it says retarget into the mess of cavalry here in the centre. The cavalry are getting hit by my line. Pivot you chaps. Excellent. So my infantry line can relocate. The centre of their line is just absolutely melted. That's what my regiment of horse can focus on. And my cuirassier, because lots of these units have routed... But, well, it's going to sound dumb, but honestly, because the morale told them to, not because they actually had to, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like, they're already coming back. Pull my cavalry back. There you go, they're already starting to reevaluate their position. The dragoons are coming in, they're going after my infantry, so just drop them into square. If they're not going for my infantry, they're instead going for my cavalry. That's just as good. Actually, if you guys stay back, they'll hit the uh, corner of the square. Get drawn into the square, then you men charge in. Okay, so you men advance to face off against the bulk of their un bulk of their army. And these units advance against the right flank, so driving, a, creating a bit of a wedge. Pull our cavalry back. Get our infantry to form line once more. Get my hussars and cuirassiers up. 
All of my howitzers focus on the 1st Regiment of Garrison Militia. Run my cavalry, because the the result, if it come, if things come off, is the total collapse of the Russian army. So charge into the provincial line. So you charge into them, you charge into them. My main line can just continue to advance after my cavalry. All my howitzers pivot, focus on the Union of Garrison line, but it looks like we get to pivot a significant number of troops to help support that combat there. Firelock Arm Citizenry. Okay, they're shattered. Push my cuirassier up. Oh, no, my, push my regiment of horse up, sorry, to chase down the remaining blocks of troops. My cuirassier are going to have a great time against the Firelock Arm Citizenry. Potentially causing them to rout themselves. The, the militia on the flank have also broken and ran. Oh, the end. That's... What's that? Field Marshal, get involved. I think that unit came back temporarily. Eh, focus on the line. Those men fire it will off. Just harass them to get some experience. So where's my field marshal? Yep. I doubt many units are going to... Well, I doubt we're going to do that much damage because the enemy does seem, in general, to be quite close to the edge of the map. So... Yeah, everyone help the field marshal because that's the last... We're going to be one of the last units on the battlefield unless you men kill the Firelock Arm Citizenry. Not that we really need to because it's a uh, city battle so any men which survive anyway are lost. Let's see if we can just get a bit more experience. There we go. So that is Archangel secured, secured for the Empire of Spain. So let's repair, replenish. Big question is, can we push on? We can push on to Ust. Good stuff. We've got some things we can do such as the odd upgrade here and there. I'm pretty sure the force here at Kazan under Jean Mazdeur can do a bit of replenishing, but they can successfully leave Kazan. You men push on to Ufa. The spy, that is surplus to requirements to go there, so let's just run this spy to Katak. It looks like he might be going through the desert. So Mr. Berengar Bourbon is going to advance to Akbarabad. Everyone else is actually... Eh, gorillas, you don't necessarily need gorillas. Fonzie is looking for a ticket to Spain. Which you'll probably get from this ship here, because we've already got guerrilla mercenaries inside the port, so we don't have to defend it particularly. Don't have to defend any of it really, but So Mr Nadal you will be marching to Sevastopol. You may actually begin the um, attack against New Spain. Well, the attack in their own territory against New Spain. So we can dis we can get rid of a couple of units of infantry here in Moldavia. A 
couple of units here at Kiev that pretty much just held, helped hold the city. I don't think you can leave Mr. Kiroga. Carlos Kiroga can leave Tbilisi. No, minus five and exempt from tax. That's a bit much. Can this force leave Astrakhan? It can. Advance down towards Tarki. Um, so the remaining Russian Empire is about to fall, or is imminently going to fall. Let's march this force up to Esfahan to keep them within range, but I do want to try and use you to block Mr. Nader bin Kulal from advancing north. I would like to use this army here to run to Kabul. Make great progress. Got this spy here. Your job is going to be to infiltrate Lahore. Couple of Persian armies around. Uh, yeah, we've already fought this battle a couple of times and they've only got mortars inside, so let's just take Zahedan. Can't do anything to really keep it. We've got our agent here who is slowly turning people Catholic. But apart from that, I think I want to hit and turn. Yeah, we've got Malta. We've sorted that out. Ah, in terms of tech, Salamanca, get on to shrapnel shot. Because at least then Seville, once they finish machine rifling, can probably get on some naval technologies. And there's Cambridge, which... I mean... Give them something like preserved foods. Because then these, these higher tier universities will tear through these lower tech um, things in good order. Because it's only the military stuff left we have to research. So let's hit end turn. Yeah, our armies are marching up to the enemy front line pretty rapidly. And if I was uh, Denmark, I'd be a bit concerned. Because <laughs> the Spanish now control the entire continent. Most of the Americas... And we're starting to uh, make some real inroads in India. Yeah, Russia's desperate for tech. New Spain realise something is up. Yeah, they definitely know something's up. Not that it'll, not that it'll help them. I won't be surprised if we sally one more time outside Esfahan. We could, we could really capture it, but... I mean, I'm going to auto that because we've done this so many times and the army's so pitiful. Hello. Why did the... Why did the Persian troops disappear? Because they've still got... What did they have, Afghanistan? Ooh, Afghanistan's got independent. They've become just Kabul. That's kind of frustrating because we're on the verge of taking it. Denmark's going to go and take a free... Trade spot, but that's okay. The Bavarian rebels, which can auto that, because we've got that's the reason why we brought this entire army back. Yeah, it's going to be a victory because we've got this army, this entire, this massive reinforcing army here to maintain our hold on Bavaria. So before we do anything else, Bavaria repair, upgrade, upgrade. Do a bunch of upgrades, attack the remaining rebels. So your job is now just to wait for the guns. New town emerges, Fort St. Joseph, Michigan Territory. A couple of towns actually, miss them. Uh, nation destroyed. So Persia has been destroyed and Felix has pushed back from, pulled back from Kabul because we're not actually at war with Afghanistan, but we are about to be, because I doubt they have many strong allies. So we've taken the city. Do a bunch of replenishment, I suspect. Well, they have universities, and they've got two modern universities. Great for them, terrible for me. So let's upgrade you to a... Actually, you've got a couple of... Got Pleasure Garden, Zion Masters Forge... Two pleasure gardens. So we don't really need to make them any happier. But I might 
build you into a church school to help with the conversion. So Raimundo uh, push south towards India. We could do this by sea but we've got time. You men are going to go back over to here as well because I would very much like to get Fonzi squared away with his own army. <laughs> Let's get this brig out of Cartagena before they crash into each other. Oh, are you not... Oh, he, no, he is there. Good. See you chaps sail across. Actually, you don't need to sail anywhere. Sail into Valletta. I think what I'd like to do, because we've got so many things to upgrade, is just do a bit of upgrading across the continent with all of these towns. Because part of the problem is we've expanded across Europe faster than we can build up our um, build up our econo economic infrastructure. Not that we really need it, but it would be a shame to not do it now when we've got the opportunity. I mean, it sounds a bit daft, but it's exactly this kind of thing that allows you to just keep snowballing and your empire just becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And then at that point, it doesn't really matter what you build. Because yeah, it's, all, it's going to be all these um, factories that will really help us out in the long term. Theatres I never used to be so bothered about, but now I know they, they can use them to recruit Swiss troops. Because I hadn't put that together previously, then I really like them. Spies are also handy. You end up being able to gain pretty much total information superiority against other factions. You know how well they're doing. You know where their armies are located inside their own territory. It's just a handy thing to have. I want to retain some cash because I need to repair Zahedon. But right now, if we haven't upgraded it, it needs upgrading. Okay, so that's probably going to be enough for now because I'm going to want to... There's still loads to do. Be a Zahedon, replenish, or re, yeah, replenish the army. Santos Reyes, your forces can regroup. So we're in the interesting position now where we could actually start to... Hello! Mughal Empire has now become a... Re... Is that an absolute monarchy? Oh, it's become a republic. I thought Republic of India... Maybe that's the Marathas, maybe I'm really showing my ignorance there, but I thought it, I thought it became a modern nation-state of India flag. Infidel, you dare treat with our worthy republic? Nah, we're going to come and take your republic. How about that? How does that make you feel? So let's push you out of Nauru. Because Jamie Dazara, let's give you an ambitious target to push towards Udaipur. Mr. Capitello can advance towards Ahmedabad. So, Frederico de Soria. What do I give you the order to attack Afghanistan? You advance to this bridge. Yeah, we're declaring war on Punjab as well. Punjab owned Lahore. Hello. There's a Mughal Empire army. Well, that will require destruction. So let's do some upgrades. Push you guys across the river. We want these armies to get down here pretty ricky tick. New port emerges. Parnu in Estonia. Okay, so Ceylon, you're still recruiting troops to help support the battle at the front. Let's take Mr. Disoria and attack Mirza Shafi. Although they are, his force is already depleted. But it looks like 
they've got it looks like they've got more of a conventional force structure however it's depleted so i fear we will go through them like a hot knife through a butter but that's perfect for me as far as i'm concerned uh we'll we'll push this army back regroup continue to advance on lahore take afghanistan and srinagar then begin to drive in from the west then as armies become free from europe we can send them um, to attack territories like Goa. Uh, rain. Always the lamest of the um, battle setups because it seems to be the one that interferes with my sound the most. I'm not going to worry about the explicit positioning of my troops. Which I might keep my pikes with my skirmishers because they do seem to be magnets oh my howard says as per i forgot to do anything with them not that it matters because we're about to advance through them immediately and they're gonna f oh yeah they haven't they haven't unlimbered but we're engaging their guns with our guns Yeah, Kizilbash, Kizilbashi cavalry is advancing. They will advance into range of my guerrillas. If they continue to charge my guerrillas, then they will get. They'll have fun times with my pikemen who are hidden. Because the artillery continues to slam home. Let's go get them, pikes. So on the right flank we've got horsemen. Hello, there's a horseman unit that's pushed past my cuirassier line. Push my pikes in, make my gorillas cease firing. As we've got our pikemen attacking the cavalry, if they if they manage to get into combat with them, which it looks like they will, then our guardsmen advance our line infantry also advance my engineers or my heavier infantry stay steady howitzers all fire onto the left flank more often my guerrillas can advance my pikemen can push up and threaten their flank because this is where the the bulk of their line is. Like Kizilbashi is skirmishing away from my cavalry, but what we can do, or well, to be honest, my volleys are slamming home, and the dervishes and this unit of Kizilbashi musketeers are going down. See, there is still one horseman unit on the flank. So they really don't like my pikemen, but then again that's quite common for the AI. Send two units to skirmish with this unit of horsemen. My right flank itself begin to fold in onto the enemy. How it's fire still coming in just grand. Keep my pikes advancing, my guerrillas are firing into the flank of the Moogle offensive, but that's caused a couple of them to break. So my Cairo Musketeers push up, you men push up. Get my pikes looking to attack their guns. My howitzers attack the horsemen, my artillery attack their dervishes, I suppose. Bring my cuirassier back on the right flank. Islamic swordsmen have routed my regimento de Soria are in position. These Hindu musketeers are apparently doing quite a good job, but my raw Cairo infantry guards are going to do a number on them, as are my guerrillas firing in the rear. The Sikh musketeers are firing in all directions. Yeah, see, that's original sounds, not Darth Mod sounds now. 
So we've got Cayuman advance. Push my cavalry out the right flank because the last unit left is this unit of Kizilbashi. Except for the guns, of course, but they're about to get hit by pikemen. So imagine this, you're a gun crew. <laughs> and then suddenly a bunch of chaps that like D'Artagnan come out of the bushes. Not just anyone, these are these are elite troops. Seaman advance. Yeah, it looks like they are starting to work out what's about to happen. Bring my pikemen back. These units continue to push back. Oh, there's the general's bodyguard. He does exist, but he's out of range. Okay, Curassier. Trot around to the back. Kizilbashi are advancing into our front lines. I'm curious if this fixes things with rain, because it depends. Nope. Did not help. But yeah, well, our volleys are starting to slam home, so I don't think it's going to change the price of fish all that significantly. Hey, it's back. It's that unit of Kizilbashi. There, we're standing a lot of fire. My cavalry are going to go after their general at max range. Retarget the howitzers to provide a bit more battlefield support, although I don't think it's going to be entirely needed. I mean, a couple of these units are supposedly elite. Got a unit of colonial line reloading. Yeah, now it's just my cavalry going to chase down their general. Although they have, they have just ran into artillery range. Although it's just tempting to send my heavy cavalry in because that will make quick work of them. General's bodyguard units. Well, elephants, they are useful. They're good units, but heavy cavalry, once you're in the combat, they start going down. They've killed, the general's been killed. Huzzah. Oh, there's a unit of musketeers back on the flank. So let's just, let's just retarget all of my artillery against them and see if they fancy sticking around now. As the artillery slams home, the skirmishes are picking them off. Yeah, if they stuck around any longer, the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards would be harrying them with volley fire. I'm really sure... Oh, and look, there's a Kizilbashi Muscadier unit come, that's come back. Okay, before we go mad, let's just slam the cavalry into them. Bash. This can be the frustrating thing about chasing away Indian factions is that what you end up seeing is you know you cause lots of routes then one unit after another after another starts to come back you start to think oh for Christ's sake either run or don't but there we go Mr. Desoria has pushed back an Indian force and he has secured this crossing so yeah this force here and the Mr. Roig is going to push and take Afghanistan. Everyone else. We are going to push up and secure this crossing. But then one's probably going to push up and take Srinagar. One's going to take Lahore. You may push into the, the fort. Hello, there's another Mughal army. That's also depleted. They're not suffering from bankruptcy yet. 
Yes, yeah, so and rune is left undefended, but if we need to, we can get some people over there pretty rapidly. A huge amount of upgrades. I haven't got any cash anyway. Um, okay. So you've... Uh, yes, you, you can move now. Okay, so you're going to go to the Americas ready for the war against uh, the against New Spain. You've got your infantry. They're on the way. Your recruitments are on the way. So let's just hit end turn. The end of the Russians is soon to be upon us. I mean, well, that is going to be a demand surrender job. So back come my armies. Well, back to Spain to be re-equipped and sent off to join the war. It looks like we're going to have roughly two armies finished at kind of the same time. So what we might see is both those armies get re-equipped and deployed to India together. It looks like the Indian uh, faction is going to be experiencing a bit of uh, death by a thousand cuts action. We're going to be bashing into them on the front line, but then we're going to start landing troops behind the lines, capturing key territories here and there, and just doing good stuff. Doing good damage, taking valuable territories. Like Satara, for example. Satara is a sitting duck. Yeah, they're bringing troops in to protect the city. I think they just got repelled from... Um, ooh, Punjab. Yes, I want to fight a proper battle against Punjab. Peace treaty? No. Ha, <laughs> they're allied with Russia. What a pointless alliance. Dear, dear, dear. Considering as Russia is about to be done for. See, you say path blocked, but you're not. See, you guys infiltrate. Lahore? Okay, there's the one Punjab force. Ah! Oh, they found the one Spaniard in Lahore. Well, let's have another one. 83% chance. There we go. Didn't, didn't think about the second guy, did ya? Fantastic progress can be made towards Kabul. You can push up and secure. A crossing to the south. You men can advance towards Lahore. No need to raid on your way in. I made a bad... I made a bad can be attacked, but I'd probably like to send Mr. De Azara to attack this chap. Let's advance. Let's see if we can get more visibility on what awaits us at Udaipur. So if you attack, you might draw in this force here as reinforcements, which would be good. So we can fight them, kick them back, take Medabad. It's quite a good sequence of events, I think. Luga has grown here at St. Petersburg. God, there's a... so much stuff to upgrade. Okay, so this force. Oh, come on. Come on. I know what. You guys are going to hold near Gibraltar under the protection of this admiral while we build up a handful of sixth rates because with you we've also got Mr. Andrade. Andrade is finished. Guerrero is also nearly well he's not nearly finished actually he's got ages to go but he does have a lot of his artillery has already been recruited. He's about to get a Guardia de Infanteria doesn't have any light infantry yet but let's get a unit of that's a cool unit that was gold back there Portuguese Cazador so you're gonna get one of those 
and a unit of regular old sharpshooters. So that's four units. So you require two cool units. You get a Swiss line infantry and a marine unit. Good stuff. So when you finish your recruiting, you will also be done. We've got this force, which is being aggressively pursued by their artillery. I'm not quite sure where they are. Oh, there they are. I mean, it would be easier to just recruit it from Madrid, but considering we've already got it, feels like it could be a bit of a waste to just ignore it. Some good construction there. The only things that keep jumping out are getting my roads done. So it looks like the Russians might try to uh, make a break for freedom. But first of all, if we do anything, let's go over to these fleet alerts here. So is now the time that we break faith with Mysore? I think the answer is yes, because Pondicherry is ungarrisoned. Which means we can attack the Mysore forces. Oh my god. The... Methinks they might be... Well, they're all depleted, so they could well be quite weak. But we've got two armies here. Two full armies. Arg, I did not plan on... I wanted to move them out. Uh, run! Good, it cancelled the movement of this fleet, so now I can at least do this. I can at least dump that army next to them for support. Could also dump these guys, because it's just pure musketry. Yeah, let's give you a general. Simon Ori. You men, get over there. Good. So if they come and attack us, that will count in our favour, I think. Our large fleet can block up the Mysore fleet. Lots of these territories. Well, they're already being blockaded anyway. So that was you, and that was you, and is this last one the American one? It is. So you men hide in San Juan because the time is nearly here the territory that earned us our the bulk of our economic growth early on has been quite heavily uh, ignored really so there's this army back here that fought off the Mughals now oh, it looks like it lost its general at some point Jose de Zuniga Uh, I suspect there's a few areas around here that are not going to be doing great as far as infrastructure is concerned because I probably was fighting in Europe when we hit the resulting road upgrades and that's why lots of these areas probably will not have decent roads. Oh no, there's some good ones. Also though... And Still a bunch of areas that need a couple of upgrades, including lots of these ports. Could be expensive, um, but what is, what is, we're looking at the timer, we're probably getting close to the end of the episode. Metro demands from Persia, but they, okay, they've already settled down, now they've lost their universities. Problem solved, so let's build two craft workshops. Let's not do anything else yet except repair that pleasure garden. Get this agent over to Katak. There's lots of overlap, but that's okay. Um, but because the Russians are being such delightful little scamps and sending out a couple of army, a couple of little troops here and there, I actually probably want to make sure they are done for. So Mr. Roig, attack Comey. Oh, there's no one here anyway. I mean, that's going to be a basic auto. And the reason why I autoed it is because I think the more interesting battle will be 
this one here at Taki. That's the one to fight. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the death of the Russian Empire. Cheers, everyone.